Hi guys, it's Jamie, the owner of Not Too Shabby. Today we're gonna feature the new stamp and die of the month club. So I'm working with Ghostly Greetings. So this is your stamp of the month and is super cute. We're going to be creating a slimline card. I'm gonna use the coordinating die. Now for this club, you have two options. You can purchase either the stamp only or you can purchase the stamp and die. Now to get the club discount, you have to choose monthly for your frequency when you're checking out and that will get your stamp and die shipped to you automatically every 30 days. Now you can still purchase this as a one-time purchase, you just won't get the discount. For this club, the dies do come on a magnetic sheet, which is really nice for when storing your dies away. They will just stick to the magnet and you won't really have to worry about losing those little pieces. I brought out our Happy Halloween stamp set just to show you that these two stamp sets go perfectly together and how cute to mix and match these two stamp sets. Now I still have this, this Happy Halloween in the shop, so I'll have it in the description box if you're interested. And I know a lot of you already have that stamp set, so this Ghostly Greetings would be a great addition. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd love it if you would subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications. It does help our channel grow. And also if you leave a like on this video, it will also help get the video out to more people. I used Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp up all my images. It's a Copic friendly ink. If you're using alcohol markers or Copics, it's a great ink for that. Um, so I'm going to use my warm grays to color up this witch hat. Now I'm starting with my darkest, which is W9, and I'm just doing, um, little flicks towards the center there. And then I wanted to emphasize those little creases in the witch's hat. So then I take my W7 and I just bring that color out just a little bit farther until we get to the center. So we're going to leave um, room for our darkest color, our mid-tone, and our highlight. And then I'm going to go over the whole thing with a purple color. Now this is kind of like a, a glazing, I guess you would call it. So I'm going to swipe my purple over the whole thing there, and you're going to see it transform into something different and I think it looks so cool. I think it looks so interesting when you do this and I just love doing this to my coloring. I think it gives it something more interesting to look at. So you tell me what you think in the description box if you like that technique. Um, if you haven't tried it, go ahead and try it and see how you like it. You can use different colors for the glazing. Um, I just wanted the purple. I thought it would look really nice with this black hat kind of like the moon casting a glow onto the onto the hat and I do the same thing with the witch's cauldron so you'll see that later on in the video but as you can see I'm just taking that BV 13 and I'm just going over the whole thing and we still get a highlight because the purple is a light purple and it doesn't like overpower the gray. So as you can see how it turned out, I did lose a little bit of footage there. Um, I went ahead and did the green hat and for the green, I used the yellow for basically my highlight or the glazing. And it gave kind of like a glowy look to the hat. So for the ghosts, I'm using BV000. And I'm using V20 to blend that out. So for the green hat, the Copa colors that I used were G17, YG13, and YG01. To blend out the outline on the ghost, I'm using my Colorless Blender Zero. So I'm going to start off with some warm grays for this cauldron. I'm using the W9. I'm going to do the same effect as the witch's hat.
Okay, so here's where I do that glazing. I'm not sure if that's what you really call it, but I'm just calling it like that in this video. Um, YG01 is what I'm using. It's a yellowish green. And see how it just transforms that into something different. I think it looks really cool. Okay, I'm gonna finish up the coloring and then I'll meet you on the other side and we'll do some ink blending with our Distress Inks. I'm using a pink and main slimline die. I'm using the largest in this package. So all I did to make the card base was measure my slimline die and then I went a quarter inch uh, bigger for my card base. I'm just gonna map out where I want my images to go. That way I have an idea where I wanna lay down my ink. So I'm just going to figure out where I wanna put this a string of stars and then we will get to inking. First color up is Twisted Citron and I'm going to use that kind of like a glowing effect behind my little ghost here. Um, that Witch's Cauldron's got some potion in there that might be glowing so I thought this color would go really nicely with the hat as well. In this left hand corner I want to make a moon so I also wanted the moon to be glowing onto the characters. So I just made a mask. I just punched out with one of my circle punchers. I'm using salvage patina to create the glow from the moon. So I'm just gonna swipe that across. I'm gonna make a little circle here to go behind my ghosts. So it looks like a little glow behind them. I think I'm zoomed in too much so the camera is starting to focus on my hand instead of the paper. But now I'm taking a purple and I am working my way around the moon. So what I'm gonna do is use two different purples in the distress line and then I'm going to use the new blue color. So that was Wilted Violet and now I'm gonna get Seedless Preserves out and then the blue one is the new prize ribbon and then I'm gonna play some music so you can watch the rest of this inking
I think going around it with the black soot really makes this pop. It makes it look like it's glowing. So I cut out my hill in black cardstock, remove that mask, and wow, that moon really looks like it's glowing. So I have all my characters. I'm gonna set them up. I'm gonna glue everything flat down. I'm not gonna pop anything up on this card. Um, I do swipe across that moon with some distress ink kind of for like clouds. I thought it looked way too white. So I wanted to do that. And then I will add this to my card base. Um, but first we're gonna create some stars. So we're gonna get out some white gouache watered down and then we're going to do some flicking to make some stars in the background can you believe when i was wiping up my space that i rubbed across my wet stars with my rag so now we have shooting stars so i'm just going to go with that so let's um glue down our panel here so i have the orange paper that is like a 12 by 12 sheet of lawn fawn wood grain paper and I thought the orange would go nicely because there's like orange in the little um, image with the ghost holding the, the candy pail. I'm also going to bring in a little pumpkin from our Autumn Fun stamp set. So that was the stamp of the month for last month. You can still pick that one up. I do have some leftovers. So you'll see that in the not too shabby section. If you wanted to pick up that stamp, it's really, really cute. So I'm using that cute little pumpkin from the Autumn Fun stamp set and I'm just going to glue him down in that empty space right there. And we'll just glue down all the images. I'm trying my hand at penning in some sparkly stars. Um, I haven't mastered this yet, so I'm just trying it out, but it turns out fine. And then I think I'm almost done with this card. I just want to add some more bling. So I do get out some gems from Trinity Stamps. So I think these look perfect for little stars or twinkle in the sky. I take out some stickles and I'm going to glitter up these stars all across the card here. And then I think I am done with this card. I hope you guys enjoyed this card. I think it turned out really cute. I hope you enjoy creating with the stamp of the month. And I'll have all the links in the description box for you. Our YouTube hop and giveaway is still going on for our box of the month release. So if you head on over there, you could still enter the giveaway. That will close on October 8th. As always, I always appreciate your comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.